Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flow for strength and flexibility. I am gonna use my block for a few things today, so feel free to grab something the size of a block or even a coffee table close by would be great. Uh, you may or may not actually use it, but just in case, you're gonna need just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in just a nice comfy seat. I am gonna sit up on my block. Uh, feel free to do the same, but most importantly, I just want you to be able to have a nice long spine and you can place your hands on your knees or just the top of your legs. Take a nice big inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, soften your shoulders, close your eyes if you haven't already. Take a nice big breath in and out. One more deep inhale and let it go. Awesome, you guys. We're gonna warm up our spine a little bit with some seated cat and cow. So take an inhale and start to lift your chest, pull your shoulders back, maybe even lift the chin. With the exhale, you can bring the shoulders forward, round your spine a little bit, give your tummy a squeeze, tuck your chin towards your collarbone. Inhale, lift the chest, pull the shoulders back. Exhale, round it out, <sighs> squeeze the tummy. Inhale, lift the chest, feel free to move at your own pace with your own breath. <sighs> and just kind of warm up the core, the spine, even the shoulders, the neck. <sighs> and let's take one more full cycle of breath here. Inhale as you lift up through the chest. And exhale to round it out. Awesome, you guys. Take an inhale and come back into a nice long spine. Huh? Make any last adjustments that you need. We're just going to sit for a few breaths. Uh, relaxing through the jaw. Maybe sitting up a little bit taller. Hmm. Just connecting with the breath. And slowing down, noticing if there are any thoughts on your mind that could maybe just go to the side for a moment, or maybe the whole class. Just listening to the sound of the breath, ah, tuning out every other noise going on around you. Staying exactly as you are. Take one more full cycle of breath. In and out. You can slowly start to open up your eyes. We're just going to make our way into tabletop onto our hands and knees. So if you were sitting on something, just move it to the side. Set up your tabletop, spread your fingers wide, bring your knees under your hips. Maybe rock it out a little bit. We're going to continue to warm up through the spine and the upper body with some more cat and cow. So with an inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest, maybe the chin. As you exhale, start to round it out, squeeze your tummy, push into your palms. Inhale, drop your belly again. And exhale as you round it out, bringing your chin towards your collarbone. Inhale, one more breath here. Arching through the back, dropping the belly, lifting the chest. And exhale, around. Squeeze your tummy. Use an inhale and find your way back to a nice flat back. Tuck your toes if you haven't already. Nice big breath in. Use the exhale to lift on up into your downward facing dog. Not here too long, so maybe pedal your feet once or twice. Look at your toes, let your head be heavy. Pushing into your palms, ah, feel the openness to the shoulders, the length of your arms. Take a nice big inhale and exhale. Using an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Take an inhale, lift halfway, nice long spine. Exhale, folding forward. 
inhale to come all the way up to standing reaching up maybe looking up exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart down to your sides take a big inhale reach your arms up exhale fold forward inhale for your half lift exhale to fold inhale all the way up again reach up maybe looking up exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart down to your sides one more nice big inhale reaching up exhale folding forwards inhale half lift exhale fold plant your hands step all the way back into your downward facing dog look at your toes take a nice big inhale and exhale and then with your next inhale, start to shift your weight forwards into a plank. Feel free to drop to your knees. Find your plank. Nice big breath in. Use the exhale to bend your elbows and slowly lower all the way down onto your tummy. Untuck your toes. Find the top of your feet. Take an inhale with your chest. Roll your shoulders back and down. Give your elbows a little squeeze into your sides. You can stay in a nice low cobra or you can lift your chest a little bit higher. Roll those shoulders back. Soften your glutes. Let your hips get heavy. Take one more inhale. And use the exhale to gently rest your chest back down. Start to tuck your toes under. Nice big inhale. Push yourself up maybe to tabletop, maybe into a plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, let's look forwards. Exhale, walk or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale as you fold. Inhales come all the way up, reaching up, maybe looking up. Exhales, you lower your hands in front of your heart and down to your sides. Awesome, you guys. We're going to grab our blocks if you do have something to use. Just place it at the top of your mat. We're going to step our left foot back and set up a pyramid stance. So wide feet, belly button shining forwards, hands to your hips, length through the legs. Inhale to lengthen your spine as well and an exhale to start to tip forwards you can draw your low tummy in give that core squeeze help hold your upper body up nice and strong keeping that length through that front leg a nice little bend through the knee get that nice hamstring stretch and you can fold as far as you want to fold maybe you're going to grab onto something or use the floor but slow down your breath Find that nice hamstring stretch. And then we'll be using an inhale to lift our upper body all the way back up. Nice and slow and controlled. Awesome, you guys. We're just going to pivot. We're going to find a wider stance. You can move your block to the middle of your feet. Step your feet out nice and wide, though. Turn your toes to point forwards, maybe even in a little bit hands to your hips and inhale to lengthen and then exhale to tip forwards maybe you're just going to tip a little bit maybe you're going to grab onto something or keep your hands on your hips but if your hands are staying on your hips make sure to wake up your core draw your belly button in find that nice stretch the back of the legs breathe Awesome, you guys, using an inhale. When you're ready, lift your upper body all the way back up. We're going to pivot so that our left foot is forwards. Feel free to move your block if you've been using it. Set up your pyramid stance. Nice wide feet. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to tip forwards again. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Whatever feels good on that hamstring. Awesome work, you guys. Taking an inhale when you are ready to lift your upper body all the way back up. You can step your back foot up. If you have something on your mat, just move it off to the side. Make your way back to the top of your mat, whatever, which way you want to face. Roll your shoulders back and down. Take a big inhale. Reach your arms up. With the exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, half lift exhale fold plant your hands you could go back into down dog or you could go straight into a high plank or half plank if you'd like to lower your knees take another inhale use the exhale to lower slowly maybe halfway chaturanga maybe all the way onto your tummy but switch to the top of your feet inhale as you lift your chest for cobra or up dog
Exhale, let's push it back into downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. Take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, lower your knees to your mat. Bring them out wide. Bring your big toes together. Send your hips back for child's pose. Take this opportunity to slow down your breath. Oh, soften your shoulders. Oh, relax. Hmm. Awesome job, you guys. And you can stay here as long as you would like to. But we're going to start to move again. So if you're ready to go, take an inhale. Lift on up. Set up your tabletop. A really short break. <laughs> I know. Bring your knees in. Set up your tabletop. Tuck your toes. Take a deep inhale. With the exhale, lift up into your downward facing dog. Awesome, you guys. Maybe pedal your feet once or twice. Look at your toes. Push into your palms. And then with an inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, walk or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up to standing, reaching up, maybe looking up. Exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart and down to your sides. Awesome job. We're going to set up our pyramid stance again. Left leg back, right foot forwards. Maybe your block is going to come back onto your mat. So this time you can have your hands on your hips like we just did before, or you could interlace your hands behind your low back. If you wanna get into the chest and the shoulders a little bit. So nice, strong stance here. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale, start to tip forwards. Maybe you're just gonna tip a little bit. Maybe you're gonna lift your hands off your low back, opening up to the chest and the shoulders. You can fold as far as you wanna fold. And one last thing, you might actually lift your toes off the mat and really wake up those legs. <sighs> Breathe. Hmm. Nicely done, you guys. Taking an inhale, lift your upper body all the way back up. Release your arms to your sides. We're going to pivot. We're going to find our nice wide stance, bringing your block with you. If you are using it in between your feet, turn those toes to point forwards, maybe even in a little bit, hands to the hips, or interlace your hands behind you. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold forwards just as much as you'd like. Another chance to lift your toes here. Lift your hands off your low back. Feel those, the nice length through the legs, the shoulders, gently encouraging your palms together. Maybe if you are going for that interlace of the fingers. Awesome work, you guys. Take an inhale, lift all the way back up. One more chance, pivot, turning so that left foot is forward. Set it up. Find your balance. As always, take your time. <laughs> Hands to the hips or interlace. Inhale, lengthen, and an exhale to tip forwards. Maybe lifting the toes again. Maybe squeezing those palms together. <sighs> Slow down. Awesome job, you guys. Taking an inhale as you lift your upper body back up. You can step your feet together. You can wander back to the top of your mat. Release your arms to your sides. Maybe roll your shoulders back and down. Take a big inhale as you reach up. And an exhale to fold forwards. <sighs> inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold, planting your hands. You can step back to down dog or child's pose even, maybe into a plank if you want to follow with me. One more inhale from the plank. Use the exhale to lower halfway or all the way down. Flipping to the top of the feet. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, send it back into downward facing dog. Awesome job, you guys. If you are still in downward dog, one more inhale and use the exhale to bring your knees down nice and wide, big toes together, finding your child's pose. Ah, breathe. Slow it down again. Hmm. Awesome job, you guys. Taking an inhale when you are ready to slowly lift up. 
back out. Feel free to stay longer if you would like to do so. But we're gonna cross our ankles, bringing our legs out in front, and then actually laying all the way down onto our backs. So if you do have a block, you can move it off to the side. So we're gonna lay down. And you can actually bring your knees into your chest. Maybe give yourself a little hug, a little rock side to side. And then from here, I want you to notice your low back. Encourage your low back into the floor. Give it a nice massage, maybe a little rock side to side, and then start to open the knees. Keep your big toes together. You can continue to rock side to side, or you can slow down that rock. You don't have to rock it out, but continue to encourage your low back into the mat. As we move our legs through these next few moments, your low back is probably gonna wanna lift, and I want you to keep it down as best you can. So knees out wide, big toes together right now. You might stay here. You might start to bring some space between the big toes or even lift the feet up for happy baby. So your low back, your hips, they're gonna wanna lift probably. Send them back down. Nice job, you guys. You can hang onto your feet here or maybe your ankles. We're gonna get a little bit fancy just if you wanna try something. You could start to straighten one leg and let it kind of go out to the side. You might switch your grip to your calf and kind of wake up that leg, holding it out to the side with some effort. I recommend flexing the foot. Flexing the foot, maybe you can keep a hold of your foot, your big toe. And then if you did find the length through one leg, you can bend it and try the other side. Notice your low back. Send it down into the ground. <sighs> nice, you guys. And this might turn into both legs, finding some length and continuing to send your low back into the floor. Flexing those feet, waking up the legs. <sighs> and the low tummy. And if you've got a leg that's straight or both of them are straight, you can start to bend them. If you're hanging onto your feet or your calves maybe, just start to let it go. Bring your big toes back together and your hands to your knees. Send your low back into the floor again and then encourage your knees to come back together. Maybe a little rock side to side. Awesome, Ricky, you guys, your feet can find the floor whenever you're ready for it. You can also bring your arms out nice and wide, weighing down the shoulders. So let's plant our feet, bring our heels nice and close to the hips, and then heel toe our feet out wide. Maybe all the way to the edges of your mat, maybe not quite that wide, but let your knees be wide as well. They don't have to be touching one another. And then from here, you can start to kind of rock the knees side to side, or we can let the knees fall all the way over to the left as far as they want to fall to that left side. You could take your left foot and rest it on top of your right knee for some extra weight. Feeling this through that outer right leg, that outer quad, that hip maybe. Awesome, you guys, if you're crossing your legs, let that go. Try to bring that left foot back to where it was. Use an inhale, lift the knees up, a little rock maybe, shake it out, and our knees can fall over towards the right side. Just hover your knees, maybe crossing the right foot over the left, letting that left leg get a little bit heavier. Awesome, you guys, uncross your legs if you cross them. Use an inhale to bring your knees back up, maybe another rock side to side. And you can start to heel toe your feet back together. You might even bring your knees back towards your chest. <clears throat> one more hug, one more rock side to side, maybe. 
Awesome, you guys. So you can stay here. You could come back into your happy baby. If you want to play one more time with finding some length for your legs, maybe you're going to try to bring your feet together this time, keeping your low back connected to the mat. Don't let those hips lift. I know they want to. You might be hanging onto your calves, flexing those feet to encourage your low back down. I swear, as you flex your feet and wake up the legs, the low back gets really heavy and it wants to stay down on your mat. <laughs> a little bit wider maybe if the feet are out wide, maybe not, or a little, a little easier, not sure. <laughs> awesome, you guys, you can let the knees bend, you can let the feet come back together, and then the knees, a little rock side to side, yet again, and then start to let your feet find the floor, oh, and walk your legs out long, spread your feet out wide. Ah, resting your arms at your sides with your palms facing up. Take a nice deep inhale through your nose if you can. Let it go out your mouth. And another big inhale. Let it go. One more nice deep breath in. Big exhale. So you guys, letting your body take over the control of the breath, the effort. Let it all go. Let your body do all the work. Allowing yourself just to be still. Continuing to tune out any noises going on around you. Just notice what happens to your breath as you let your body take over. As always, I encourage you to stay here for as long as you have time for. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, namaste.